Hello there, everybody, and welcome to this feature presentation on YouTube. I am King Mac, your hamburger pal. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to enjoy a hot, fresh cheeseburger along with some delicious golden french fries, a tasty milkshake, and a nice soft drink. Also, be sure to grab some hot buttery popcorn while you're at it as you enjoy this episode of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. You are watching TT Burger Game Reviews here on YouTube. I'm your host Tony, aka TT Burger the PlayStation Gamer or TT Burger Gate, whatever you want to call me. We have some more Frogger action for you here. Let's take a look at the final part of my TT Burger Frogger series review, episode 275, part 2 of two parts, the final part here. Now I know there are games in this Frogger, the great quest inside that, but I'm not looking, in, looking at that game because I don't have it and I heard they suck. But if I ever get my hands on them, I will review them and stuff. But right now, this is what this is the frog stuff we're gonna have for the time being. Before I get started here, I want to give a shout out, out to everyone who has supported this channel for the last seven years. It's hard to believe that we've been going on, on seven years since TT Burger 8 was created here. And if one of you guys, the channel would not be as big as, as it's today. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you all because I think you guys, the channel going bigger and bigger each day. But we have a lot to talk about here with the Frogger series. Here, before we get started with part two, here's a little TT Burger recap. Hoppity Frogger stuff, I'll show y'all what you missed, I took a look at Frogger, he's back for the PlayStation game at 2.5 out of 10 because it was a very frustrating difficult game for no reason whatsoever, you died a lot, and it was, it was just a, just a game that wasn't really polished well and there was a lot of problems with the difficulty and other things, if you need Frogger for, for in 3D, you might want to want to just, just play it at a friend's house or so, but beyond that, just don't really really bother this game. Now we're gonna zoom ahead to, to, to September 30th, 2000, 2000 to be exact, around the time the PlayStation 2 was out and everything, once again by Hasbro Interactive, this sequel was released 5 years later, and we got the game for you right here, this is Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge, released on, on September 30th, 2000 for the PlayStation, Game Boy Color, and more and more and more, so let's get started here. Now Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge is a better game but it's not an excellent game due to the existing problem that, that, that still existed in Frogger He's Back. They fixed a lot of problems and stuff that made the game more playable, but there are problems that were not worked on here. Mainly the, the, the frustrating difficulty where you will die a lot once again, sometimes you will die in the same spots because these levels a lot of them could be death traps, losing lives over and over again. There are improvements to the gameplay like double jump and more lives and the difficulty selection in a second playable character throughout the story mode, but that's, babe, that, that, that's basically all this game has to offer. It's a better game, but not by much. It's not going to be getting a high score, but it won't be getting a super low score. It'll get an average score, but we need to continue here. In Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge, we have a story this time where we see Frogger and his girlfriend, Lily Frog, who's the female pink frog, and they're enjoying each other's company. Then trouble happens. Swampy the crocodile, the crocodile with a bad attitude, is jealous of Frogger's popularity, fame, and fortune, and decides to get revenge by kidnapping all of Frogger's baby brothers and sisters as a part of his plan to make himself king of the swamp. Now it's up to Frogger and Lily Frog to stop Swampy and rescue the baby frogs. During the game, you will play as both Frogger and Lily Frog, dodging obstacles, jumping platforms, and rescuing the baby frogs like last time. The story I enjoyed, sure, it's nothing like Klonoa the Door of Phantom Isle or Jersey Devil or so like that, but it is a story about frogs rescuing baby frogs and stopping the bad guy. That's all you need. Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge's graphics are good. They look more detailed than last time. Here, Frogger actually really looks like a frog, and so does Lily Frog and the baby frogs. The levels are so cool. They have more linear feel to them, making it easier to navigate. Also, there is less confusion as well with what is what is just a part of the background, what's not. The frame rate is slower than last time, and it can drop at weird times. The cutscenes look good, although there's no dialogue in them, but it does not need it. It's just about a frog rescuing frogs. It's really cool to see the moves that Frogger and Lily Frog can, can perform, I'll say that much. Sound, just really the only things I can talk about are the music, which is awesome, kind of sounds like music in Glover and Rayman, similar to these are pretty close. Frogger and, and Lily Frog jumping and croaking all sound amazing too. That's all I can say about the sound. Now the gameplay, which is better, it still has a lot of frustrations. 
First we have the goods, we have a linear style of gameplay this time where you have an easier time navigating the levels, you're not only rescuing the bigger frogs, you can also look for coins that can unlock levels with the arcade mode where you play an upgraded version of the arcade game from 1981 with multiple frogs to play as. All of Frogger's moves are back, the super hop, the tongue, the croaking are all back here and this time the croaking works better and are more helpful and it can show you where the closest frog is by showing a little colored circle in the distance on the edge of the screen. Both Frogger and Lily Frog have a new move called the Double Hop, and it can really help you in tight situations, especially when trying to avoid enemies. There is no time limit here, thank god for that, so no rushing in dangerous situations. Multiplayer mode here has more modes this time, but I do not have footage because I could not find someone to play the multiplayer with. Those are the goods, now the negatives. The controls are stiff and weighted, still not as bad as last time, but still pretty stiff, especially when moving. What I mean is when changing directions, there is no button to just change the direction and not make you move forward. So if you face a direction on where to go, you have to hop around like a moron because of this, and the stiffness can make the buttons not respond, and you may move too many times where you will, will die losing a life. Sure, you may have more lives than last time, but you can run up very fast, mainly also do the, do the controls killing you and all the obstacles and stuff. Like, this is a bit much here, like, these are death traps that can kill you and there are times where you will have to restart the level over just to gain your lives back or quit all together back to the main menu. This is a big chore, for sure, and I will admit I had to put the unlimited lives going on to help me here because these death traps kept killing me over and over, it was a nightmare. And if you miss any coin, you'll get no bullets unlocked, but sometimes the coins are in very brutal spots where you'll have no choice but to avoid them. It's a better game, just not by much. More could have been done on it, it's it's better, but that's like comparing apples to oranges and stuff. Final thoughts, that's all I gotta say here. final thoughts, Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge is a better game than its predecessor, but there were games out there that were better than this, so I do recommend this in your collection, but you're probably not gonna, not gonna want to play it much and stuff because of all the frustrations. Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge gets a 5.5 out of 10 because of the problems I had with it, but it's better than its predecessor, but it could have been a lot better and stuff, that's all I'm saying. And that's it for episode 275 of my TT Bird Game Reviews. Coming up in October, we start the Halloween season. That means all month long and all next month long, horror themed games, survival horror, first person shooters, horror themed, and more and more and more will be coming up. What will we start for the Halloween season? Find out on October 2nd of this year. Which all I gotta say is Tony, peace and out, have a good day and see you all in, uh, in the next review. Halloween is gonna start, we have a lot of surprises for that month. Take care everybody, have a great day. This is war, you won't take me. This is war, you can't break me. It's just me.